Hello YouTube, this is Lewis with another YouTube tutorial on LBJ Media TV. Today we're going to cover how to get around this Instagram crop. Uh, first of all, the things you have to know is that the crop is like a square, like you see, and it's a one by one. So you actually need photos to be cropped as a four by five or if it's a flyer an eight by ten. Um, now, one of the ways to get around this is if you have the right dimensions and you just want it to stop being a square, uh, you can just press this little icon on the bottom left and boom, you have the full flyer. Now, what if you have an image that doesn't fit this dimension, but you want to fit the full image? Now, there's a little ways around that. Let's use this image where if you notice, um, once I do this, it still doesn't put the full image because I, I, let's say I want the extra sidewalk, I want the, the top, I want this full image, right? We're just using this as an example. Um, what you're going to have to do here is either open up Photoshop or download a mobile app that will be able to let you um, fit this perfectly. So today's app that we are using is called InShot. So InShot is an app for Android users. I'm not sure if it's available for iPhone, but um, if you do have an iPhone, you'll probably be able to find a similar app to this. Now we're inside InShot. This is how it would look once you load up the image. Um, as you see, this is the full image, but if I were to crop this, this wouldn't be a four x five for Instagram. It would still crop it, and you see how much of a difference it is with the crop. Um, so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna want to put canvas and now you have a couple of options here uh, you have fit you have full you have left you have right so let's go and click full let's see what happens all right that turns it into a square now let's see what happens if you press fit awesome so what happened here is it's still that square ratio where it's like a one by one um, but now the full image is fit in there and it adds a couple sidebars there. Uh, what if you want to change the ratio or the aspect? So let's say I want it to fit a four by five. And there you go. It's no longer a square. It's four by five um, and the image is there. Now, the cool thing about this app is the fact that if I click background, it allows me to change the color to whatever I want. So let's say I want there, like this orangey yellow. Um, and I want that as the post. I can do that. Or you can also blur the image if you'd like. I usually just stick with a simple black or a simple white for Instagram. But now let's export this with, let's say, a simple white. Click save, it's exported, and now we're gonna hop over to Instagram. Okay, now here we have the original image. Um, as you see, once again, same problem, but now we have the exported image over here where I can fit the full thing, or if I want it cropped more, at least I can get a little bit more in there. It still shows the sidebars, um, but at least I'm getting more of the image that I want versus uh, this right here. So that's one way around it. And then you can do the same thing for horizontal images. Now uh, we could hop over to the Photoshop and I'll show you how to do it there. Okay, so now we have Photoshop opened. I actually cropped this photo for this prime example, but let's say that we want this photo to be a 16 by nine, which is the usual dimension uh, for an Instagram photo that's wide. Now this photo in itself um, is that dimension, but since I cropped it for this example, um, we're gonna have to turn it into a 16 by nine. So uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna click crop here, uh, that, that icon right there. You want to switch this to 16 by 9, but first let me hop this off. There we go. So then you'll get that. And obviously you don't want to crop it even more. Um, if you're happy with it, that's one way of doing it. You can crop it and then you're, ha you're you can choose the select part. And let's say you're happy with that image. But let's say I wanted to widen it or maybe I just wanted to get this full image, right? just for example reasons. 
So now we get this. Boom. Um, this means that the sidebars are transparent, so you can add another layer right there below it, and we'll call this layer uh, white. Switch this to white. Get All right, and now we're gonna paint this to white. Boom. Now let's say you're happy with that, you can upload that to Instagram. Now another thing that you can actually do is you can stretch out the image. Um, now there's ways of doing it without distorting it because if you were to stretch it out on here, this is exactly what would happen. Uh, this one doesn't look as bad, right? Um, but in some more drastic cases, your image would look very wide like this doesn't look very realistic. So you want to go to edit, you want to go to content aware scale, and now you're going to notice that if I were to stretch this out, it almost creates extra pixels. So my image doesn't get distorted. Voila. And that is the fix to your problems, whether you want to do it through a mobile app or if you want to go with the professional route and you want to stretch out a really nice professional image, um, then you can go on Photoshop and do this. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more content like this. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you for watching LBJ Media TV.